welcome to class 3 of Indian financial system so in the last class we have dealt with the functions of financial system and in this class we learn regarding the role of financial system in economic development so before starting so we should know the relationship between the financial system and the economic development right so how financial system will contribute towards the economic development what is the relationship between it so development of any country so that depends upon the economic growth of the country so we all know that right so if there is economic growth in the country so we can say a country is developed okay so achieves whatever the economic growth that is achieved by the country over the period of time so that measures whether the country has developed or not so economic growth whatever is the economic growth that deals about what so it deals about investment it deals about production right so you have to invest something so that investment whatever you have invested that should be used for the productive activities so and also the extent of gross domestic product in the country so only when this grows the people will experience growth in the form of improved standard of living economic development so if standard of living increases automatically the economic development will be there so we'll move to the role of financial system in economic development of the country so the first first the first thing that says saving investment relationship okay so saving investment relationship is nothing but how the saving or idle saving of people is converted into investment so savings are channelized to productive resources in the form of investment so here the role of financial institution is very important since they include the pub the public to save by offering the attractive rate of interest so if you do not have any benefit will you allocate your savings to investment no right so you are going to invest your savings so in return you are going to get some attractive interest rate so it says that to attain the economic development a country needs more investment and production okay so this can happen only when there is a facility of for saving so people should save first without saving we do not have anything right as such savings are channelized in productive resources in the form of investment what happens here you are going to channelize the productive resources sorry your savings into the investment here the role of financial institution is important since they induce the public to save by offering the attractive rate of interest so as i said you the people should be ready to save their money so when you are going to save only when you are having benefit right so when when there is an attractive rate of interest you are are having a habit of saving so this savings can channelized by leading to the various business concerns which are involved in production and distribution the next function says financial system helps in growth of capital market so as we know capital market is a market where we are going to deal with the securities we are going to deal with the assets sorry capital so any business any business so it requires two types of capital so which are they namely the fixed capital and working capital and this fixed capital we are going to use to purchase the plant machinery etc and working capital we are going to use it for the day to day running of business so it is also used for purchasing the raw materials converting them into the finished products okay so fixed capital is raised to the capital market so by the issue of debentures and shares so public and other financial institutions which are they so they invest in them in order to get a good return and maximize the sorry minimize the risk 
so for working capital so we have money market very short term loans could be raised by the businessman okay very short time loan can be raised by the businessman to the issue of various credit instruments such as bills promissory notes etc the next the next it says government security market so what is this government security market so financial system enables that so enables the state and central government to raise or to raise both short term and long term funds through the issue of what to the issue of bills bonds so which carries the attractive rate of interest along with some tax concession right so government securities what happens here a budgetary gap is filled only with the help of government security market okay so thus the capital market money market along with your foreign exchange market also and the government security market so what they do they enable the businessman industrialist and as well as the government okay and the government so for what to meet their credit requirements so if you are going to start a business you need a credit right so all these things are fulfilled by these markets so in this way the development of economy is ensured by the financial system so when we say government security market we are trustworthy right so we have some trust in it so we are going to get some tax concession so because of that we are interested to save our money in a government security market the next is financial system helps helps in infrastructure and growth so how it helps so here it is said here it is said it is here that the financial services or services play a very crucial role in providing the funds for the growth of infrastructure so main role is the financial services so they are going to provide or the funds for the growth of infrastructure so economic development of any country depends on the infrastructure facility available in the country so in absence of key industries like your coal power and oil development of other industries will be hampered okay it is here that the financial service as i said financial service play a very important role by for providing the goods sorry funds for the growth of infrastructure industries okay so private sector will find may find it difficult to raise the huge capital needed for setting up the infrastructure industries so for the long time infrastructure industries were started only by the government in the in, in india but now we can see with the policy of where various policy like economic liberalization more private sector industries so they have come forward to start the infrastructure industry so they develop or the development bank is there and the merchant banks so they help in raising the capital for these industries okay the next is employment so employment is must right so how this financial system will help you to boost your or employment growth is boosted by the financial system so the presence of financial system will generate more employment opportunities in the country how so the money market is there so which is a part of a financial system right so that provides working capital to the businessman and the manufacturers so due to this so when they have money they will start their production right so due to which the production increases a result is generating okay resulting in generating more employment production increases so one person cannot handle anything so we want some other person to help us okay so employment opportunity generates here so with competition picking up in a various sectors so there the service sector such as sales marketing advertisement etc so also pick up 
so leading to more employment opportunities so various financial services such as leasing is there factoring is there merchant banking etc so all these will also generate more employment so the growth of trade in the country also induces employment opportunity the next is it ensures the balanced growth how it ensures the balanced growth so when we say it is a balanced growth each and every sector should be developed simultaneously right so which are these sectors now we have primary sector we have secondary sector we have tertiary sector so they require each and every sectors require the adequate fund for their growth okay so the financial system what it does so it is going to give or what we say the financial system in the country will be geared up by the authorities in such a way that funds should be distributed or made available to all the sectors in such a manner that there will be the balanced growth in industry agriculture and also the service sectors the next the next is financial system role in your balanced regional development so we are speaking about region here so so far we have discussed about the sector so here region means the area we can say so we have urban area we have rural area semi urban area so each and every areas should be developed okay so to the financial system backward areas could be developed by providing the various concession so this ensures a developed growth throughout the country and this will mitigate the political and other kinds of disturbance in the country okay so it will also check the migration of rural population towards the towns and cities so what happens when we do not have a good opportunity in the rural areas what we do we we are going we are going to move from one place to another place right so we don't have job in city so we move to bangalore so what happens now all of you start moving from one place to another place the place which is there so that will not develop and when there is no development in such places we cannot say there is a regional development right balanced regional development is not there so what we have to do is so we should have an idea so in which place we are going to get more profit so here the financial system what it does so it says we are going to give you the credit at the low rate or less rate of interest suppose you are going to start the business in the rural area we are going to give the concession if you are going to start the business in your rural rural area so what happens now people in order to get such benefit they start the their business in the rural area what happens now the balanced regional development takes place thank you